So the final cost of debt we need to know about is the cost of a convertible debt. All right. So let's say we've got a five year long convertible debt. The interest is 8%. The market value is 85. Tax is 30%. So all pretty much like a redeemable debt agreed. But it's just that final 100 that we have to pay back. The people who are loaning us the money, they say, right, for each 100 of debt, they can convert into 20 of our shares. And they will decide in five years' time. For every 100, they can get 20 shares. Now, the shares at the moment are worth four each. So it's 20 times four, which is 80. And it's per 100 of debt. So at the minute, they wouldn't convert into shares. But... Remember, they don't have to make their decision up until the final day at the end. An annual growth is expected to be 7%. So let's see how we would put all this together in the CBE format. So here we are then. First of all, then, it's going to be either 100 or they're going to get, the people who've lent me money are going to get, can get 20%, 20 of my shares. Each share was worth four, but it's going to grow by 7%, so times by 1.07 to the power of, because it's five years. Comes to a gobbledygook number, so you just go up and you just change your number there and say, right, I want that to two decimal points. So if they convert to shares and the shares have grown, it will be worth 112.20. If they don't, they'll just get the 100 back. They're going to take the 112.20. So let's put all that together then now. So zero, one, two, three, four, five years. Market value, just as normal, minus, so a minus uh, 85. Interest then is 8%. So eight times 100 is 8% times by, or well, 8% times 100 is eight, I mean. Eight times by one minus the tax rate, so 0.7. That's going to be for each year, for the five years. And at the end of the five years, normally we would just add on the 100, or if there's a premium, add that on. But they're going to take 112.20, not 100. So it's actually it's actually 5.6 plus the 112.20. Okay, and now I can calculate my cost of this debt. So work out the IRR, please, Mr. Spreadsheet. From there down to there and then put it as a percentage two decimal points 11.66 percent